while as a team they might not show up in terms of their three-point percentage, they can knock it down. They showed that in the first quarter, going 8 of 15 from three. The charge has to be aware of the Capital City Go-Go's when it comes to the three-point line here. Johnson, first shot off the back of the rim. He struggled from the floor last night, just three of 12, but comes up with the steal. Diallo nifty up and in, up and under. Yeah, the charge, we talked about this in the open, Scott, but got a little sloppy with the ball at times during last night's game. Uh, we don't want to get Capital City going early. Something that we saw from them last night, uh, opportunities in that first quarter as another turnover here as Hamido Diallo goes in for the slam. Back-to-back -back buckets for him. And first quarter is so important in terms of setting the tone, setting the pace of the game. The charge didn't really do that last night. So tonight, th this was an opportunity for them to do so. Right now, Capital City taking advantage of some early turnovers and another three for them early here tonight. Forced shot by Foster comes down. Sharif going to come down the baseline drive with the left hand, scores. But the go go get it back. Now the turnover for Cleveland. Sharif. I don't think Pete was looking for that one. Dots in front of the pack, going to drive and score off another turnover of the first quarter. Funk skips it. Bernard, a long two ball. Bernard. Comes off the rim to Mobley. On the break, here comes Zaire Smith. Going to drive with the two-hand slam in front of the pack. First two points by Zaire Smith. Did I say that out loud? Eh, well, he said it in out that loud. So. In, in that instance, <laughs> and in this instance here, it is accurate. There's a turnover. Stevens has it, gives it to Dotson in front of the pack. Bernard for the two-hand slam. 90 seconds in county. Capital City with the six-point lead. Good pass inside, Steven slams it home. Yeah, that was a beautiful feed there by Bernard again. Nance pumps. The runner pulled it off his hip, put it up and in. It's two as Imani takes his time. Let's fly the wing three, got another one. Imani, two baskets, two threes. Good pass inside. Mintz lost it, got it back, and came up short on the layup attempt. Charge by three, charge by five, looking to make it six on a free throw by Devontae Schuler. The 33 points off the bench at Westchester back on January the 16th. They're gonna be in a really good spot as they continue on this game. Gogo have come out in a zone defense now, challenging the charge to shoot from the outside and Devontae Schuler says what, hey, what? Eight on the clock for Imani Bates, working on Foster, stutter steps to his left, lets it fly! 18 points, three threes in the quarter for Imani. Their rhythm from beyond the arc has been incredible. Entering action tonight, charge 34.7% as Devon Dotson beats the buzzer with the left elbow jump shot. Dotson. Zaire Smith has been all over the floor. He's making you pay from beyond the arc. He's getting it done inside, grabbing offensive rebounds. Those second chance opportunity is gonna be so important. To Mobley, 5.30 to play third quarter, charge by 10. Good spin move, and off the glass, that patented jump hook by Isaiah Mobley gives him 12. Isaiah Mobley there. Aleem Ford and Devontae Schuler on the floor. Air ball by Isaiah, but caught by our guy, Devontae Schuler. He... Aleem Ford with the open three ball, right corner, Aleem, first points. Hampton quickly to the other end, runs over. Justin Powell, who's going to get called for the foul, I believe. Yeah, Schuler with the bump, and yeah, uh, Justin Powell just down in front of him. They've done a much better job of taking care of the ball. They're still crashing the glass, getting those opportunities. Just continue to play solid basketball on both ends of the floor. Hampton goes right to the basket reverse. On the right to left, he's got nine points. Meet that intensity, and thus far, they have not done so here to start the fourth quarter. Alley-oop inside, the slam by Nance, who's looking for the foul as well. Everybody's looking for the foul, but they're not going to get one, so quickly to the other end are the go-go. I don't know how you don't call that. There were multiple defenders all over Pete as he took it inside. Hampton spins it off the right side of the glass. He's got two more, 15. Or back on the floor. Charge have also dropped back into his zone. Hampton going to stay aggressive straight away, 15-footer. Got it, foul to go with it where Diallo just knocked down his shot before the timeout, and he draws the foul too, giving him an opportunity for three points. And if they're not scoring baskets on turnovers, getting open shots, they're getting free throws as Mobley comes down the lane, 
and gives the charge a much needed basket with the two hand slam. Diallo eyeballing Imani coming down the right side. High off the glass, got it to go. And he draws the foul. He's got 26. But back up a little bit, one step at a time. That's the exact type of play you want to see from Imani Bates in these moments. He read the defense well. We certainly play our part. Five minutes to play. Charged by 12 as Hampton comes right down the baseline. Drive, scores, and draws the foul. Bro, don't fix it. And RJ Hampton and Hamadou Diallo have single-handedly kept Capital City of collecting stops back to back, putting themselves in a good position. Oh my goodness! 30 points for Imani Bates. He averages 22 points per ball game, and it's gonna be more than that come Wednesday at College Park. Hampton throws it up and he got it to go, RJ Hampton. Speaking of Larry, he is off the right side on the alley-oop to Imani Bates, rammed it home, and they're gonna tee him for hanging on the rim. The chin-ups, the hanging, the swinging, they're taking it away. There's the swing. I think he may have slapped the glass with the left hand, and I'm excited, and that's the move that they make, but they don't, they're not reminded until they see the officials doing this as Dunk comes, uh, Funk comes down the right side with the dunk. And we've got a final, the charge, 128 to 111, splitting the two games with the win, the charge approved to 10 and 11, and a five and six here on the home floor.